calling all entrepreneurs. Get ready because today you're going to learn the mistakes to avoid when building a brand. Plus, the top marketing recommendations for 2016. But first order of business. Did your business grow last year? If not, what are you going to do about it? It's a PR frenzy today on The Pulse. Hello, I'm Denise Roberts and welcome to The Pulse, the show dedicated to helping Prince George's County businesses. My guest today is a 26-year powerhouse public relations professional, Dr. Sheila Brooks, President and CEO of SRB Communications. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Denise, for, <laughs> for asking. Sure. So, you know, in today's business world, marketing is such a... Um, an important part of being in business and establishing an image and a brand. How important, how important is it? Well, first of all, Denise, I think that you have to really define marketing because because in business, there's two marketing tracks. There is certainly the marketing track for uh, attracting and retaining customers and looking at what business verticals are out there and marketing to boost sales, increase business mm -hmm. for your business. Okay. Um, and then there's branding your business and I think that's what we really want to talk about today. Yes. So I wanted to make that, that distinguished. Sure. Um, brand equity assets are very important because Business owners are looking to have name recognition, name awareness. Mm -hmm. There's the perceived uh, conceptions out there uh, in the community among customers mm -hmm. about a particular business. Mm -hmm. So I think that branding your business is very important. Okay, so what is the first step in creating your marketing or developing your marketing strategy? Well, we all know that you have to have uh, it visually captivating graphics, uh, logo mm -hmm. uh, for your business cards, mm -hmm. uh, marketing materials, sure. there's your brochure, newsletters, those kinds of mediums uh, that's certainly going to get the word out about your business. Mm -hmm. And that's very, very important because it's, branding is more than just your logo. Right. It's about everything that you think and see and feel mm -hmm. about your business as well as the perception of what others sure. think and feel about sure. your business. Sure. And then, um, you know, the paid advertising where, you know, when we were talking about small businesses who don't have the money to or can't afford to hire large co corporations or PR companies like yours, what can they do to you know, get their image or start to build their brand and start to, you know, what can they do to develop their marketing strategy? Well, there's a couple of things that business owners can do uh, when they're looking at marketing. You can, uh, certainly your marketing materials mm -hmm. are very important mm -hmm. and you do have to have those. And you don't have to have anything too fancy, you know, capability statements mm -hmm. to talk about uh, what your services or products that you provide for your customers. Mm -hmm. You can do those in house. Mm -hmm. Those aren't necessarily nice, slick, creative, designed mm -hmm. pieces that you need to send out to a printer. Okay. Um, you also can hire interns mm -hmm. who can come in, and I know we'll talk about social media a little later, right. but I just mm -hmm. want to mention that mm -hmm. those are the people that you want on your team and to bring in that can even do part of that social media, some of your other marketing. Mm -hmm. But you know, there are a lot of clever ideas mm -hmm. to market your company. Okay. Um, certainly, we all know that you need to build relationships. Right. So in building those relationships while you're in business, you need to attend networking events. Mm -hmm. You know, the old adage, I spent 14 years in television news and what they used to tell us all the time, mm -hmm. um, it's not what you know, mm -hmm. it's who you know. Okay. But I'm here to tell entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. it's not what you know, mm -hmm. it's who knows you. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. And that's what the importance of public relations mm -hmm. and PR, uh -huh. social media, and marketing mm -hmm. is. So certainly building relationships, which, uh, which means attending uh, those networking events. Mm -hmm. um, and then we all think that we, sh we have to keep all the money. Okay. And we, we don't. Mm -hmm. You have to spend money to make money. Exactly. And while you may not be spending it on paid advertising, and I don't know how much 
return, your ROI is going to be on paid advertising and television or radio mm -hmm. is going to be anyway, right. it, because it really depends on what kind of business you're in, mm -hmm. what kind of services you're providing, mm -hmm. what kind of products you're providing. Okay. So the other thing to do is to sponsor mm -hmm. a local event or a charity. Okay. And why would you do that? Because that helps you feel good about your community, the community feels good about you, mm -hmm. uh, your staff, your employees, your team can get, get involved in those activities. Okay. That's really important. Okay. And then also, you know, in public relations, I mean, there are simple things too, like press releases. When are the best times? What's the best time for a company to, to go that way? Well, you could always send out press releases. But first of all, let's take a step back before you even prepare that press release and okay. get it out. Mm -hmm. You need to know what those media outlets are okay. in your community right. or in your region. Mm -hmm. And you need to have that media contact list. And we have that because we have so many customers sure. that want the access mm -hmm. to using those earned media opportunities. Mm -hmm know who those radio stations, television stations, websites, mm -hmm. blog sites mm -hmm. are in your community, mm -hmm. your region, mm -hmm. your state. Mm -hmm. Once you have that list and you keep that updated, mm -hmm. then when there's something that's important that you're doing, mm -hmm. uh, a speaking engagement, um, a networking activity that you're a panelist mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. uh, a workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, this television interview we're doing right now, my right. staff is back tweeting it uh -huh. and, and uh, you know, live tweeting what we're right. doing right now. Okay. That's, that's all important and that's important in um, certainly the name recognition for not only you, but for your business. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And, and, and here's the other thing. Mm -hmm. It's all about getting the exposure <clears throat> because most news releases like that, right. they're going in the trash, right. okay? Mm -hmm. But if a specific assignment editor or reporter or somebody that you've engaged mm -hmm. with begins to see so much come out okay. about that and there's something specific that's newsworthy mm -hmm. in the community, mm -hmm. they then may call on you to be an expert in that okay. area. This week's photograph for Selfie on the Pulse is from Workplace Essentials of Bellerica, Massachusetts, a company that provides co commercial businesses and public facilities with a wide range of innovative, eco-friendly products and services that are complementary to your existing cleaning and maintenance program. If you would like to see your business on this show, take a picture of you and your business and send it to us on Twitter, at PGC Diversity. And don't forget to use the hashtag, Selfie on the Pulse. More from our guests about mistakes to avoid when building your brand, but up next, the Pocket Size Business Guide. I started mentoring in my mentee, Dontre, four years ago. I always thought about doing it. Mentees are a very close friend. I look at him as a brother and a father figure. But I would like to give back, just like Etienne gave back to me. Be someone who matters to someone who matters. Whether your small business marketing is thriving or falling flat, it's always important to perform a marketing audit of the previous year to see what's working and what's not. For those who largely skate by with the help of social media and a decent referral network, there are some immediate changes small businesses can and should make if they want to see skyrocketing growth and success. Here are the top five ways to get started, courtesy of entrepreneur.com. First, relationship marketing will see explosive growth into 2016, especially as more consumers turn to their smartphones for shopping reviews and advice. Try to find ways that allow you to go above and beyond in the relationships you've built with your clientele. Number two, there are officially more searches on mobile than desktops or other devices, and Google has responded accordingly. Google now penalizes sites that aren't optimized for mobile by giving more weight and relevance to those who do. Small businesses need to fully adapt to mobile or prepare to be left behind. Number three, content marketing has gone from being an emerging trend and buzzword to the mainstream norm, and it requires more robust content than simply throwing together a blog post and adding some links. For example, you can offer video content and free in-depth white papers and infographics. Fourth, geo-precise marketing and precision targeting is now leading the pack in consumer marketing. You can use analytics and purchasing data to identify zip codes that are, that are extra active when it comes to purchasing. And IP targeting helps narrow down your focus to individual households. And finally, the importance of continued testing and experiment 
experimentation will never change for large corporations and small businesses alike. Study your analytics, tweak your marketing campaign, and test your results on a regular basis. Hopefully these tips will help you to better plan your business marketing strategy this year. I've come up with the family emergency plan. What is it? It's difficult to talk about, so I'm not telling you. I'm so glad I won't have to remember anything. And me too. Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. Welcome back to The Pulse. Today's business question for Ask The Pulse comes from Liz Arnold of Brussels Services in Hyattsville, Maryland. And she says, I am having a hard time finding dependable staff members with reasonable work ethics. I have tried incentive programs and contests, write-ups, promotions, demotions, public praise, and simply asking, what can I do to motivate you? I am at a loss. Please help. Dr. Brooks, <laughs> you know, it, is, it can be hard to find really good people. How, how would you answer this question? Well, it, attracting the best talent is one of the biggest challenges that we face as entrepreneurs. I've been in business 26 years, and I can say that that has been one of our top challenges, mm -hmm. in addition to, of course, those financial challenges. And the way I've dealt with that is simply two things. One, you do have to give the current employees that you have as much professional development as possible mm -hmm. and other incentives. Mm -hmm. And I see that she's doing some incentives mm -hmm. there, um, but maybe you need to reevaluate what you're doing mm -hmm. uh, and see if there's something specific that employees need. Mm -hmm. Certainly some financial incentives. Do you have a 401k plan? Mm -hmm. How, um, how um, important is the health plan that you have mm -hmm currently have and maybe you need to be expanding the benefits there. But more importantly, I would say to her, in going out looking for the best talent, mm -hmm. go use some of those top notch staffing firms that are there, mm -hmm. that are out there. Mm -hmm. Because those staffing firms, that's their expertise. Sure. Your expertise as an entrepreneur is not hiring people. Right. Um, so that's what I do now. Mm -hmm. And yes, you do have to spend money, as mm -hmm. we talked about earlier, to make money. Right. But that way, they can vet that employee, um, identify exactly the kind of experience mm -hmm. and expertise that's needed for the position that you have open. So when that person comes in, mm -hmm. you know, you already have vetted them. Okay. And then, you know, going back to the marketing, we know there's mm -hmm. business owners. Let's talk to the business owner who try to do do it themselves and wing it on their own and hope for the best because we know they're out there. That's right. What are some of the mistakes that those folks need to avoid? Well, you said it right mm -hmm. there, that they try to do everything on your own. Mm -hmm. If you're a business owner, you can't do everything. You can't sell mm -hmm. and be the expert in whatever business that you're providing services for mm -hmm. and be the expert in hiring or finances or legal, and that includes marketing and PR. Mm -hmm. And so many business owners think, oh, that's gonna cost me so much money mm -hmm. and I don't wanna do that. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the first mistakes is right. believing that you can do it on your own, you can't. Mm -hmm. Look for help. Find an intern. Mm -hmm. um, get um, um, get get someone that even if you have to bring in someone on a temporary basis mm -hmm. uh, to do some consulting for you, mm -hmm. so that they can get your name mm -hmm. recognition out there. Because everything that you do mm -hmm. sends out a message about who you are mm -hmm. and what you stand for in your business mm -hmm. and what the business stands for. Okay. So that is very important. Another uh, pitfall that business owners make is that they don't want to make the investment, but mm -hmm. you have to make the investment. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to spend the dollars, whether that's on, and we didn't talk about the website. Mm -hmm. You have to have a good website. Let me tell you something. The first thing a customer or a potential customer is going to do mm -hmm. is that they're going to go to your website so that they can see what, their, what your services are. And you have to also keep that website up to date. Dr. Brooks, you know, we could talk about marketing all day long. Yeah, we can. But we are out of time. And I want to thank you so much for putting it all to pers into perspective for us. And thank you so much for being on the show today. And that is our show for today. Thank you for tuning in. This show and previous episodes are posted on our website. It's diversity.mypgc.us and click on The Pulse. Our Twitter and Facebook handles are at PGC Diversity and our YouTube channel is The Pulse TV. If you have a business question that you'd like the answer to, send it to us on Twitter at PGC Diversity and we'll answer 
answer it for you and mention your business on this show. Be sure to use the hashtag AskThePulse. I'm Denise Roberts, and remember, in Prince George's County, your success is our success.